What's up, board game people? Here come the crowdfunding projects. The new year has started, and if you haven't already cast a spell of protection on your wallet, it's probably too late. And what fun would that be, anyhow? January is kicking off the year right with several great games hitting crowdfunding this month. Before I begin, I want to take a moment to thank my channel Patreons. Equipment for the channel costs quite a bit, and their help is lightening the burden and allowing me to expand my content types and quality. We're starting to work towards our first goal of getting a wireless mic set up, and every little bit, even a dollar helps. If you can help pitch in, go check out the membership levels on my Patreon and see what kind of perks I'm offering. First up in January, launching on the 10th on Kickstarter, we have Orc Quest Warpath Resurrection. This one is being put out by Monolith Games, who recently acquired the IP from Maze Games. Orc Quest Warpath is a still unfulfilled Kickstarter that Monolith is resurrecting to get backers their copies of the game and offer the game to a totally new audience. Monolith has a reputation for quality and for delivering, so I'd say this is a pretty safe bet now. The launch page shows a price of 135 euros for what looks to be two overstuffed boxes of dungeon crawling goodness. The price is right, and it'll be interesting to see what, if anything, will be changing about the project. Next, we have the launch of Phantom Epoch on January 10th on Kickstarter. This is a game that I've already had my hands on, and I'm truly enjoying thus far. The game is a challenging 1-4 player cooperative tactical combat RPG in a box, featuring an expansive campaign, a combination of deck building and dice rolling for combat, a thrilling story that unfolds depending on player choice, and a vast galaxy to explore. Put the pieces of the Phantom Epoch back together, uncover the true nature of the forces working against you, customize your character through branching advanced classes, and explore unknown worlds finding amazing equipment to assist you on your journey. This is definitely one to keep an eye on. I'll be posting a preview video as well as a few other videos shortly to give you a closer look at the game. Fast forward a few weeks, and we have a bit of a sleeper pick for me. Witchbound will be launching January 24th on GameFound. In Witchbound, you'll play a witch whose magic is awakened on the island of Coven Cove. Coven Cove hasn't seen a real witch for over a hundred years, and there's little to guide you on your path. A cast of colorful characters are willing to help, but you must venture out into the wilds to discover what the witches before you have left behind. The game is an open-world, story-driven game that will have you interacting with the world using items, skills, and prompts that you've acquired to explore a massive storybook full of puzzles, illustrated cutscenes, and a branching narrative. This one looks a bit lighter, a bit different, and the art looks simple but effective. I'm excited to take a closer look at this one when it launches. On January 24th, also on GameFound, we'll be getting Batman Escape from Arkham Asylum. This game is a semi-cooperative dungeon crawler for up to five players where you'll play as the villains of Gotham City trying to escape incarceration in Arkham Asylum. You'll face off against a host of challenges and guards in a bid to complete your hidden objectives. All this is building towards an ultimate showdown against the Dark Knight himself. This game was massively delayed and it's good to see it finally seeing the light of day. Knight Models is known for their Batman miniatures game, and the miniatures here are expected to take center stage. If you want to know more, go check out all the pre-campaign updates on the GameFound page. Finally, on January 31st, we see the launch of Andromeda's Edge. In an uncharted region of space at the edge of the Andromeda galaxy, you'll find the last resort for the brave and foolhardy seeking a new life beyond the reach of the Lords of Unity. You'll lead a desperate faction seeking to build a new civilization. Starting from scratch with only a handful of resources, you'll deploy ships, gather resources, populate planets, and build an empire to survive and outmaneuver your opponents. Andromeda's Edge plays solo to five players and features asymmetrical players, worker placement, area control, tableau engine building, dice battles, and more. This game has sat as one of my most anticipated campaigns since I heard of it. The wonderful faction development, amazing art, an innovative play should carry this game across the finish line with an impressive array of content in tow. So after the projects that I know dates for, there's still a few I'm pretty sure will launch in January, but I have not heard solid dates for yet. First up is a huge one, both in potential size, price, and scope. Simon will be dragging Marvel United back to Kickstarter with a huge new core box and I should be fairly safe saying a ton of extras. 
Marvel United Multiverse is season 3 of content for the game that I admittedly know very little about. The sheer size of the Marvel United range is almost daunting, but it seems to have a very strong following. This new season and core box will introduce character equipment cards to the fray. These will bolster your heroes in new and exciting ways, and they'll work retroactively to support the entire Marvel United line. They're also including a new solo mode, complete with a support deck to keep a cast of characters at your side while facing off against villains. And they're teasing other twists to come as well. I want to hear from you all. What are your thoughts on Marvel United? Is it something worth a deeper look? Or was the game too simple? Or did the experience fall flat? Last one is another sleeper pick for me. Well, I don't know if sleeper pick is exactly the right term here, as the news of the game is spreading far and wide. Once upon a line, a butterfly's breath combines breathtaking artwork and a story-driven puzzle game into a cooperative experience that implores players to take on the role of Zephyrimes who will help influence the action of heroes to inspire them to break the grip of chaos on their world. A pandemic has made way for insects to grow to massive sizes, and the survivors seek to exploit the insects' abilities to craft a new world. The adventure will be personalized and the game uses scratch-off destiny grids to track your progress while accomplishing the mission set before you. You'll elude traps in the form of riddles, anagrams, palindromes, and more. You must achieve your destiny before scratching the last square off the line of tragedy, or all is for naught. While I'm sure some level of descent will come from destroying game pieces, I'm interested to see what clever solutions are employed here. This is definitely one I'll be watching. Interested in what's coming up later in 2023? Well, that's the subject of another video, but luckily that one's coming too, and it's huge. Thanks again to my patrons, my viewers, and everyone commenting. Next up, we'll have our weekly news video and some deeper dives into Phantom Epoch. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss a thing. Have a great weekend and remember to play something exciting this week.